name is Chuck Porter, and I got started cubbing, carving as a Cub Scout. Well, I like to carve walking sticks. Anybody know what this is? Yeah? It looks like a tree. It looks like a mushroom. That's exactly what it is. It's a mushroom, and I carve a lot of mushrooms. I'm very thankful. We're going to carve one today. You're going to watch me carve one today. And here's another one, a smaller one. I've got some great big ones. There are different kinds of carving. Just whittling. They use the knife out of their pocket to whittle with. There are what we call relief carving, which is what this is. This is a castle, turret, in the rock face. So it's like it's built right in the side of a cliff. Now this is a collection of neckerchief slides that I carved at camp. And I carve a lot of them, believe me. I walk into the camp store when I get to camp, and I may buy 80 of them all at the same time. And usually, don't come home with a single one. <laughs> now remember I told you about the ax and the log? Well, this one I haven't got the piece cut out for the axe yet, but it will go right here, just like that. And again, it's a neckerchief slide. Holds a neckerchief on your neck. Now my grandmother and my mother liked owls. Oh, my mother does too. So there's, there's my rendition of an owl on a neckerchief slide. Did you see these? Nope. Oh, they're needle rose flyers. They're flyers. But they're carved. And they're wooden. Yeah, That's they're all cool. wood. Oh. Yeah, my dad That's called that. a whittler's trick. Oh, my dad we thought it was like metal. metal. No, they're not metal. There's no metal in them at all. It's all just wood. Anybody know what this is? A spoon. That's a spoon. It's a wooden spoon. And I carve a lot of them. And here's one. Now this, these two are oak. All of the neckerchief slides and the pliers are out of uh, uh, linden. It's the name of the wood. It's the name, name of the wood. It's a type of tree that grows, a linden it has, tree. It has a leaf that looks like a heart. Oh, that's cool. And this is what a wooden spoon starts out looking like. That's cool. This one is made of sassafras. Now this is just a piece of linden, or another word for it is basswood. Uh, this is North American linden. Basswood comes from Brazil. Okay, we're going to talk about knives. When a wood carver has knives, he keeps them very, very sharp. See that curl come up there? Now there are a number of ways to sharpen a stick or a knife. This is a piece of Arkansas marble. This is called a steel. We use what's called a strop. And this is just a piece of leather with some jeweler's rouge on it. And if my knife gets dull while I'm working with it, then all I do is use the strop. 
Very seldom do I have to go back to the steel or the stone. And I wipe the oil off because I don't want the oil and the dirt in the piece that I'm carving. And in order to uh, keep from cutting me, I wear a meat cutter's glove. You either use a lot of knives for different things. The knives come in all shapes and sizes. They can be real small. Like wooden knives? Oh, wow. That's They can be real small like this. Or like this one. You see those are both this one's this one's round. It cuts a round groove. This one is what we call a V gouge. And because it's the shape of a V. Oh yeah, that's it's like a curl knife. This yeah. is called a hook knife. Yeah, you go you go What I'm doing is tapering the end so we get a point on the mushroom. Now, they don't have to be perfect. They can be all kinds of shapes. Now, to keep your knife, you want to keep your knife really sharp when you're cutting across the grain. Take the little V gouge. You notice it's got a curve in the end of it? Mm -hmm. That's so I can get down in to deep places. Mm 